Wild animals have always fascinated man, and this curiosity has prompted humans to try and tame them. Whether kept as pets, for research, or simply as a tourist attraction, this bond with animals, no matter how large or sleek, has driven the human race. The largest bird on Earth, the ostrich. So is this a good enough reason for man to climb on its back? Or even race one another on them? Even unnatural behavior like this can be taught to baboons. But whenever wild animals come into close contact with humans, there are bound to be casualties, and these power lines cause endless problems for birds, especially larger birds of prey. These problems have prompted people like Gerard Verduen to get involved and try to help. Gerard is a committed conservationist and vulture fanatic and has dedicated his life to protecting, caring for and, wherever possible, the rehabilitation of these giant birds. Birds suffering from poisoning and broken limbs from power lines are a major concern for him and his dedicated team have an endless task with the supply of patients never ending. Blood samples are taken not only for medical reasons, but also for research, as it is important to know the genetic makeup of each bird, to monitor where it's from, its diet, and other useful bits of information. Each bird is tagged for easy identification, although Gerard never forgets a face, as well as to monitor its travels, if ever released. Gerard is very close to his vultures, in fact, sometimes a bit too close. A peace offering to the bird, some sticks for a nest. But still, the luckiest ones are the ones that get away. For no flyer likes to be grounded for too long. In the Cape Peninsula Reserve in South Africa, these chakma baboons have gotten too friendly with the tourists. In fact, they have become a menace, a major problem. Being the intelligent animals that they are, they have very quickly realized that begging food from tourists is a lot easier and tastier than the old-fashioned way. This has caused them to become very familiar with tourists and familiarity does, in this case, breed contempt. The end result... Daylight robbery. Not to mention getting a taste for fast food. Cape Town has another animal-human clash. The penguins on the popular Boulders Beach. These guys have been in the area for a lot longer than humans, but the neighborhood encroached, and now there does not seem to be room for both. The penguins have lost their traditional nesting sites. And the human's main concern seems to be the smell. But on a positive note, they have helped encourage tourists and don't mind posing for a photo opportunity. With the ever-growing population and development, it will not always be possible to separate humans and wildlife, and both must learn to live together for the benefit of all. <laughs>